We will be taken up in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. We will pray and ask that God let there be a result of whatever we pray for in this auditorium. Let us come up, O God, with testimonies in the name of Jesus. Amen. May you, O God, be blessed. May you, O God, be glorified in Jesus' mighty name. Let all the church members say, Amen. Amen. We thank God one more time. God bless you for joining in with us. We do not take your time for granted. We do not take your time being with us throughout the, on the line. We do not take that time that you spend with us in prayer. We don't take it for granted. We, don't, we also appreciate you for everything that you are doing um, to make this ministry a, a ministry to be adored, a ministry to be a ministry of God. Hallelujah. We thank all the elders and every member of this church and the uh, entire Christ of Son Church uh, membership for their prayers. Hallelujah. For us. Amen. So wherever you are, as Elder said, you can send, share the link with somebody. Tell them to join us even if it's on your Facebook. That's okay because right now we are streaming live. Amen. Amen. On our Facebook handle. And then also we are also on our YouTube handle. And also we have our Zoom live. Amen. Amen. You can check us there to also um, participate in this um, prayers that we are doing right now. Amen. 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 So, um, for the past two weeks, for the past week, I think on Friday last week, we started um, a series on understanding the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Very, very vital subject to discuss in the house of God. Very, very vital subject for us to know more so that we can walk with Him. Amen. Amen. You will understand that uh, we said there has been three dispensations of the triumph. We have the dispensation of God the Father. We have the dispensation of God the Son. We have the dispensation of God the Holy Spirit. Amen. And we said that God the Father was in action, was the one on the scene, and he was dealing with a, 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 a particular group called the Abrahamic stock, or the people that came out of the loins of Abraham, that is the Hebrew, hallelujah. And we see that from the book of Genesis to the book of Malachi, um, to the prophet Malachi, we saw that God was in action, God was the one in control and he was dealing with a localized people. He was dealing with a people that were only uh, from the stock of Abraham, which he associated. So they were a chosen people. They were, they were called themselves the children of God. Hallelujah. Amen. So if you understand the Hebrew, you will know that at that time, up until that time, they were the only people that claimed to be the children of God. Hallelujah. Amen. And none other else, no other community, all the rest of the world, all of us, we were referred to as the hidden. We were referred to as the as the as the Gentiles. We were referred to as the ethnos. That means the people of the world. Hallelujah. And they were the real people. They were the real people because they believed that they were from the uh, from God and they walked with God, they talked with God, and God was with them all the time. Hallelujah. And then it came to the dispensation of the Son. Reading from Matthew chapter 1, we saw the scene of Jesus Christ coming to, I mean, Jesus Christ coming to the scene. And Jesus was God himself, the Son of God. He was the Son of God. He was born of the Virgin Man. Hallelujah. And Jesus Christ was also localized because Jesus Christ was only in um, the land of the Palestines. He was only found in the land of Israel. That today we call it Israel. But that line is called the Palestine. Hallelujah. Yeah. So he was found in the Palestine. That's where he walked. That's where he ate. That's where he was made acquainted with. So wherever he, he, whatever he did, whatever miracle he performed, whatever Jesus Christ did was on that land. Hallelujah. So Jesus Christ was God localized. Amen. Oh, amen. And we also talked that the, 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 the Jesus Christ promised us from John chapter 14 through John chapter 16. Please read John chapter 14 through John chapter 16. You understand the Holy Spirit better there. We said that when we learned that Jesus promised that I am leaving, I am going. And the people that were with him, his disciples, were all um, sad about his going. But Jesus made a, 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 a profound statement and said that I will not leave you. I will not leave you fatherless. I will not leave you as widows. I will not leave you as people without any help. But I will send you a help. I will send you a comforter. Hallelujah. And this comforter has already been promised in the book of Joel. Chapter 2, verse 27 and 28. In the last days, in the last days, the Bible says, I will pour out my spirit on all flesh. So God the Father 
Jesus Christ was localized to the land of Palestine, but this Holy Spirit that we are talking about, the Bible says, He is not localized. Hallelujah. The Holy Spirit is for all flesh. Everybody say all flesh. That's what you must understand. It is the Holy Spirit that makes us the children of God. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. It is because of the Holy Spirit that is why we can also say we are the son of Abraham. That's why we, are, we can say we are the spiritual Jews. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are the children of God. Amen. Oh, amen. amen. So he is the one that we want to understand because he is not localized. He's not only for uh, the Jews. He's not only for the black. He's not only for the white. But he's for what? All flesh. Let's all say it. All, all flesh. flesh. So that is where we, we landed. And today we are going to look as understanding the Holy Spirit part two, where we are talking about the deity of the Holy Spirit. You remember last time we talked about the person of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. So we said the Holy Spirit is not an influence. The Holy Spirit is not a force. The Holy Spirit is not a power or an energy or a something. But the Holy Spirit is a person. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And today we are not going to say the Holy Spirit is a person, but the Holy Spirit is a special person. Hallelujah. Which is, he is God. Everybody say it. <laughs> he is God. So if we can, you can help me, let us look at 2 Corinthians 13, verse 14. And then we look also at, with all the scriptures will be repeated, at our main scripture, the whole year assignment. We all know where it is. Matthew chapter 28, verse 19 and verse 18 to 19. Can we can somebody quickly help me uh, read those scriptures, please? Um, let us uh, um, go to those scriptures. Very, very important. So the first one is 2 Corinthians chapter 13 and the verse number 14. That will be probably the last uh, verse of that um, wonderful piece. 2 Corinthians chapter 13. Verse number 14. The Bible says that the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. 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 So this is uh, um, Apostle Paul uh, ended his message to the church of Corinth. And he said, the grace of our Lord. So let us look at the Lord Jesus Christ here. Let us look at God and let us look at the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The three of them are mentioned. Remember, you have said there's a trinity. They are trinity. They are the triumph. The triumph God. Amen. Amen. He's a God in one person. Three God, three persons. But one God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God in three persons. <laughs> three persons, but what? One God. Let us see it. Let's say it one more time. Three, Three persons, but what? God. One God. Hallelujah. Amen. So Paul acknowledged that. And Paul associated the Holy Spirit with Jesus and with God the Father. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. Let us look at Jesus Christ himself telling us what to do when we go. Uh, Ella, please kindly read for us. The Matthew chapter 28, the verse number 19, and the verse number 19 and the 20, or the verse number 18 and 20. 19, please. Verse number 18, Matthew. Matthew 28, mm -hmm. verse 18. Yes, please. Can you please um, talk to the Casamu uh, mic for us so that those of friends on the Matthew line. Matthew uh -huh. 28, verse 18 to 20. That's please, yes. And Jesus came and said to them. And Jesus came and said to them, All authority in heaven. All authority in heaven. And on earth has been given to me. Mm -hmm. 20. And uh, 19, sorry. So go therefore and make disciples of all nations, mm -hmm. baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So Hallelujah. when Jesus Christ was giving us the commission, number one, he said, Go. Hallelujah. Amen. Um, uh, uh, we will learn about the word go, and it was a commandment. Amen. It wasn't a suggestion. It wasn't a, a suggestion. It was a commandment. Go. And then he said, "Either go, you know, I want to teach them." Hallelujah. Then number two, baptize those 
those who will believe. Amen. Baptize those who believe, they said. We should baptize them in the name of God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Amen. So the Holy Spirit has been associated with Jesus. He has been associated with God the Father. That makes the Holy Spirit God. Amen. Amen. Oh, amen. amen. So he is God. And today we are saying that as we ascribe glory and honor to God and glory and honor to his son Jesus, the same glory and honor must be ascribed to the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Oh, amen. Amen. I want to repeat it again. This is the dispensation of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. It's the dispensation of the Holy Spirit because He is the one in action. Amen. Hallelujah. He is the one who was in action. In action. He is the one that does all the things that God wants to do now. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. He is the one that brings healing. He is the one that brings success. Amen. 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 He is the agent of transformation. Oh, he is the agent of transformation. Amen. He is the agent of miracles. Amen. He is the agent of signs and wonders. Amen. All the miracles that happen in this modern era in the church is as a result of the Holy Spirit Amen. in Amen. action. Amen. So we must endeavor as a people crave. We must endeavor to desire. We must endeavor to yearn Hallelujah. for the communion. Amen. Amen. For the fellowship and for the interaction. Amen. Amen. Oh, Amen. Amen. So what makes the Holy Spirit a God? Or what makes the Holy Spirit God? The Holy Spirit, number one, he bears the names of God. He does what? He bears the names of God. He bears the names of God. Let us say it. He bears the name of God. Adon is my daughter. Why? Yes. 
Now we will pray. So, uh -huh. Hallelujah. First Corinthians 6, verse 11. Uh -huh. And such were some of you. And such were some of you. But you were washed. But you were washed. You were sanctified. You were justified. You were justified, you were justified in, in the name, name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And by the Spirit of, of God. our God. We were justified. So it is not only Jesus Christ that justifies us. Our justification comes from the Holy Spirit as well. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. So he, he, here he is associated with Jesus. And he's associated with God, and he said that even the justification, the reason why I'm able to say I am a child of God, the reason why I'm able to say I have been forgiven, I said I've been forgiven, is because of that spirit of our God, which is the Holy Spirit of God. Hallelujah. Romans chapter 8, verse 14 and 15. Can you quickly read for us, please? Romans chapter 8, 8, verse 14. Yes, 14. Uh -huh. And 15. Romans 8, verse 14. Yes, sir. For all who are led by the Spirit of God. For all who are led by what? The Spirit of God. By the Spirit of what? God. By the Spirit of who? God. By the Spirit of who? God. Are what? Sons of God. Sons of God. Hallelujah. Amen. So here the Holy Spirit is also associated with God. Now, let us look at the verse 15. It says what? For you did not receive the spirit of slavery to fall back into fear. For, for we did not receive the spirit of slavery to fall back into fear. But we receive what? But we have received the spirit of adoption. Hallelujah! Amen. We have received the spirit of what? Adoption. So the Holy Spirit is the one that brings us in the house of God and, 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 and gives us the seal and says that we are now literally. I am now what? Literally a child of God. Hallelujah. Say, I am literally a child of God. Literally literally a child of God. And it is because of what the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 So it's God. Amen. So it's not only like the work of the work of Jesus Christ is great and wonderful, but it is achieved through the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. So all the noise that we make, we shouldn't make the mistake hmm. of taking out the most important thing that is dear to God himself. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. Are we here today? Yes. Please, are we learning something? Yes. So the Holy Spirit partook in the attraction of the believer. The Holy Spirit partook in the attraction of the believer. Thereby making the child of God a son or a daughter. A real son or a real daughter. John chapter 14 verse 16. What does this is? John chapter 14 verse 16. What does this is? Jesus Christ called the Holy Spirit and not the helper. John 14, uh -huh. 16. Yeah. What does it say? John chapter 14, verse 16. Uh -huh. And I will ask the Father. And I will ask who? The Father. The Father to give you what? And he will give you another helper. Okay. And this is end When I say I will give you another, what does it mean? One more. One more. Uh-huh. One more after Jesus, or one, one similar, one like him. One like him. Hallelujah. Amen. So I will give you another. I am taking this localized Jesus to me, and I'm bringing you the one that will be with you all the time. And Amen. Jesus refers to him as what? Another. So today, the Jesus is who? Hallelujah. Amen. Do you understand what I'm saying? Oh, hallelujah. You understand the church? You understand what the Amen. So Jesus wants to be everywhere. The Son of God is man. And he was only localized. But he wants to be everywhere. So he has to bring him that helper. That man. That one who will be with us. Amen. And us. Amen to that somebody. Amen. So are we, are, 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 are we all okay with that? Oh, I said, are we all okay with that? Yes. So these names that we give to the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of Jesus, the Spirit of our Lord, the Spirit of adoption, mm -hmm. they are all names that qualifies the Holy Spirit as what? God. Hallelujah. Oh, amen. Amen. Oh, amen. 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 Number two, the Holy Spirit is God because he possesses the attribute. Number two, the Holy Spirit is God because what? He possesses what? The attributes of God. Right now, most of us, we know the attributes of God. Hallelujah. The first attribute, or we want to talk about attributes, is the characteristic nature. Hallelujah. Attributes are the characteristic nature of somebody, of something. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Amen. So we are talking about the characteristic nature of God. This thing belongs solely to God. He does not share it with any other entity. And that attribute is also seen in the Holy Spirit. So that makes Holy Spirit equal with Him. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. That makes Holy Spirit equal with the Son and with the Father. And with Jesus. Hallelujah. So this is an attribute that is solely belonging to him alone. And one of the attributes is omniscience. Omniscience is the quality of knowing all things. Amen. Past, present, and future. Hallelujah. Very well said. Past, Past present, present, and future. Hallelujah. Amen. No human being can know that except the Spirit of God. First Corinthians chapter 2 verse 11. First Corinthians chapter 2 verse 11. First Corinthians chapter 2 verse 11. No one knows except by the Spirit of God. Yes, uh -huh. First Corinthians 2 verse 11. Uh -huh. For who knows a person's thoughts mm -hmm. except the Spirit of that person? Hallelujah. Uh -huh. Which is in him. Which is in him. Uh -huh. So also no one comprehends the thought of God except the Spirit of God. Hallelujah. Amen. So no one knows except what? The Spirit of God. We have not given except the Holy Spirit. Oh, hallelujah. So he collects the mind of God and then he gives us Can we pray right now and ask Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, tell us what is the mind of God? Do you get the word? Yes. Very, very important. Because there is no one who knows the mind of God except the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit is supposed to be your helper. Hallelujah. The Holy Spirit is supposed to be your comforter. Amen. The Holy Spirit is supposed to be your teacher. Hallelujah. He's supposed to be your guide. And it's supposed to be your another because your only companion. And now God said, I know the thought that I have for you. Hmm. I know what? The thought that I have for you. If I sit here and I tell you, I know, I know the thought that I have for you. For 18 years, if I keep saying I know the thought that I have for you and I don't do anything, you will tell people we will go to Nipa. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. You get my point. So God knows the thought that he has for us. But who will collect that thought? And bring it to us. Oh, oh come on. Are we learning something here? Who will collect the truth of God and bring it to us? Because we are a different Emma Beba. No, I'm saying, Emma, let me communicate it. I tell to be one. If I have a good talk for my child, if I have a good talk for this church, if I have a good talk for the members of this church, and I'm not able to communicate that talk to the people, so we are missing. So who will bring? The talk of God to the people. The Holy Spirit. Amen. May we receive that in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I said, may we receive that help in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The talk to know what? The mind of God. Yes. Don't cry to know the mind of Satan. It's not very important. Hallelujah. Amen. Know who? The mind of God. I said, know what? The mind of God. Omnipotence. Omnipotence. You can read from Zechariah chapter 4, verse 6. It will not be by power, it will not be by might, but it will be by my spirit. Omnipotence is the power, ultimate power to do. Everybody say ultimate power to do. Ultimate power to do. Say ultimate power to do. God is all powerful. God is all forceful. And he does it with force. Hallelujah. For example, the Bible 
Job chapter 33, verse 4. Let me read that for us. Job chapter 33, verse 4. What does the Bible say? Job chapter 33, verse 4. The Bible, I want that to read it for us, please. Job, Job, the book of Job. Chapter 33. Yes. Amen. 
Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. The Holy Spirit bears the name holy. Yes. And that holy makes him an absolute holy. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. Oh, first of all, do you want to read for us 5 verse 6? Psalm John 5 verse 6. Uh -huh. This and the Spirit is the one who testifies because the Spirit is the truth. Amen. Amen. Amen.
joining us, and many people are enjoying it. Hallelujah. Amen. Very, very important subject that we are treating over here. For, for example, the Holy Spirit was in partnership with the Father in the creation of the world. Let us say it. The Holy Spirit was in what? Partnership with who? The Father in creating what? The world. Hallelujah. In the beginning, God, the Hebrew God is Elohim, plural. Elohim, plural God. And God said in the first number 20, he says, let us make man. The let us is referring to the Elohim, the three, the trying God. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. So in the creation of the world, the universe, the Holy Spirit was in partnership. In the creation of man, the Holy Spirit was in partnership with God the Father, God the Son. Wanga Amen. Oh, Wanga Amen. Now, other work of the Holy Spirit. Let's look at other work. So we can write these quotations up. Genesis chapter 1, verse 1 and 2. Job chapter 26, verse 13. Job chapter 27, verse 3. Psalm 33, verse 6. Psalm 104, verse 30. Please write these scriptures down. Learn it. Hallelujah. Job chapter 26, verse 3. Job chapter 27, verse 3. Sorry. Job chapter 26, verse 13. Job chapter 27, verse 3. Psalm 33, verse 6. Psalm 104, verse 30. Hallelujah. Amen. The Holy Spirit was in partnership. God was in partnership with the Holy Spirit and Jesus Christ in creating the universe and human beings. Amen. Amen. Number two, the Holy Spirit performed the act of inspiration. Don't think that's what? Say inspiration. Inspiration. Or say inspiration. So let us look at First Peter one verse twenty one. When we talk about inspiration, we are talking about how the Holy Scriptures were given, how people were inspired, or how people were motivated. How people were motivated and moved by God to do things. Amen. 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 So read First Peter chapter one verse twenty one, uh, please. First Peter chapter one verse twenty one. First Peter chapter one verse twenty one. First Peter chapter one. Yes, please. Twenty one. Yes. First Peter chapter one verse twenty one. Who through him mm -hmm. are believers in God. Uh huh. Who raised him from the dead mm -hmm. and gave him glory mm -hmm. so that your faith and hope are in God. Hallelujah. Amen. So this is the, 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 the Peter talking about how Jesus Christ was used by God to be the God of all flesh or to be one who has been raised and glorified. Hallelujah. But how did Peter get this? Amen. Amen. How did Peter get this message? How did Peter get it? Through what? The Holy Spirit. People of God, do not say I cannot preach because it is not you. Do not say I cannot teach. Do not say I cannot do anything in the house of God because it is what? Not you. It is the work of the Holy Spirit. Everybody say it. So getting information from God to the people is the work of the Holy Spirit. Oh, yeah. You just have to ask Him. You just have to do what? Ask Him. Let's go see it. Today I'm going to ask Him. Today I am going to ask Him. You just have to ask Him. So, Second Peter chapter three verse sixteen to say. Second Peter chapter three verse sixteen. Second Peter. Yes. Please. Second Timothy chapter three verse sixteen. Sorry. Second Timothy chapter three verse sixteen. Second Timothy chapter three verse sixteen. Yes. Mm -hmm. All scripture. All scripture is written. Is breathed. Is inspired. Out by God. Is the inspiration. Everybody say is the inspiration. Is the inspiration. So the Bible that we have was breathed. The word of God came out from the breath of God, and that is inspiration. See the inspiration. inspiration. That is the inspiration. So, what does it mean? Breathe in, breathe out. Inspiration and what? 
expiration. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. Inspiration and what? Expiration. Breathe in and what? Breathe out. So when God brings out his word, he becomes an inspiration for us. He came into us. Oh, amen. amen. So we do breathe in the word of God. Hallelujah. We do what? Breathe in. We breathe in the word of God. In order to live. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. amen. And that breathe in is done the work of the Holy Spirit. It's the work of what? So, uh, 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 please read it again. Second Timothy chapter 3. Second Timothy chapter 3. Second Timothy chapter 3. All scripture is written. Out by God mm -hmm. and profitable for teaching. All scripture is breathed. All scripture is inspired by God. All scripture is what? Inspired by God. All scripture is what? Inspired by, by God. God. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Then he talks about this profitability. And that is the work of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Another act of the Holy Spirit is that the Holy Spirit be, was. In action, in giving birth to Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. The Holy Spirit was in what? In action. Action. In giving birth to who? Jesus Christ. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. 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 Amen.
for him. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit. So the association, oh hallelujah, his association makes him a God. We do have a lot of gods. We have Balaam gods, we have a God of Asteroid, we have Antonia Man, we have uh, Ephesians God. But none of them was associated with the Holy Spirit. Oh, amen. Oh. amen. Can tell you, is not associated with the Holy Spirit. Buddha is not associated with the Holy Spirit. Uh, what is his name? Muhammad is not associated with the Holy Spirit. No other person is, not, is associated with the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit is associated with only our God and our Jesus Christ. Amen. Ah, is somebody here? Yes. He's associated with what? God. Our God. God. And what? Jesus our Jesus Christ. So when in the Old Testament they mention Yahweh, Lord, is referring to God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Amen. Lord, the capital L, capital O, capital R, Chapter G, Yahweh, referring to them. Amen. amen. Oh, amen. 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 Oh. amen. The Holy Spirit is also associated with these three gentlemen. If I can call them that. Amen. Mm -hmm. it, 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 what I've said doesn't make sense to us. Mm -hmm. yes. It doesn't make sense to us. Yes. It's the last one that the Holy Spirit means the Holy Spirit God is that the Holy Spirit came from God. Everybody say the Holy Spirit came from God. So the fourth one was the association of the Holy Spirit with God, the Father, God, the Son, missing God. And the fifth one is the source or where the Holy Spirit is coming from. That you feel. Yes, you may ask something. So I'm using the children, the, 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 the,
Amen. He's a Uruba, yes. The Holy Spirit was has gone Uruba. Hallelujah. Amen. And because of the Holy Spirit, we have heard Jesus. Amen. Because of the Holy Spirit, we see the works of Jesus. Amen. We see the works of the Father. Amen. Because of the Holy Spirit, we understand how the world was created. Hallelujah. Amen. Let us rise up to our feet. Let us give him the glory. Let us give him the glory. Let us give him the glory. Please, let us read some songs to glorify him. Let us read some songs to glorify him. I believe I've been able to explain what God said I should explain. I believe I've stayed on my time to God bless you. Let us raise up our hands and give him the glory.
as we are here praying, it's a tarry. Everybody says it's a tarry. And Jesus said, Tarry ye in Jerusalem until you are a Jew. Everybody says you are a Jew. He said, Tarry ye until you are what? And Jew with the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Luke chapter 24, verse 49. And behold, I send the promise of my Father upon you. What is the promise of the Father? The Holy Spirit. But you wait until you are endued with that power from on high. Amen. So our prayer point. Oh, amen. Amen. See, the things that we go about, that we are sluggish, we are not excited, we are not enthused to do the work of God. We are not much in Jim. Hallelujah. We don't have the test and the hunger. Hallelujah. Amen. To work with the Holy Spirit. So we can access the Holy Spirit. As, as the Father promised in Jonah. In the last days, I will pour out my spirit of all flesh. Amen. And this church, we need the authority of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So that's, that's our prayer. What is what is the Bible? Oh, Hallelujah. Are you ready for that? Oh, are you ready for that? Those of us on the line, that the Spirit of God will be born upon your life. 
Thank you, Holy Spirit. You are living, you are moving amongst us. Yes. Do your work, Holy Spirit. Yes. Heal the sick. Touch. 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 Holy Spirit, touch. Empower. Transform. Bring a newness of life. Yes. Yeah. 
see the fruit on the tree by and check very soon. Very soon. That's what the Spirit of God is saying. Very soon. You shall see the fruit on that tree. The tree can be a business. Ah, the tree can be a marriage. The tree can be a life. Of course, it's cool. But that's I don't know what the Lord is saying about that tree, but what I see is that the tree has started producing bad and producing. Amen. Yeah, you know. Yes, well. As you say, I'll cover the tree. Oh, sorry. In the name of Jesus, in the blood. That has terminated and, and has been there for years, years for the days, and, and expecting to be better fruit, fruit and it's not better fruit. It's not that we see the fruit in the name of Jesus. Amen. And, and the fruit is abundant. Abundant fruit. Abundant fruit. Receive it in the name of Jesus. 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 Thank you, Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, Holy Spirit, Amen. for your miracle works amongst us. Let's have your hands and thank him in the name of Jesus. Let's thank him as we bring the program to an end. Let's thank him. Let's thank him. Let's thank him. Let's thank him. Give him the praise. Give him the glory. Give him the honor. Oh, yes, we thank you. Bless your name. We give you the praise. Amen. 